Hi, you know this subject in small paintings and also your desire to see more ski seascapes has been really interesting for me to see. So uh, we're going to talk a little bit about making three quick seascapes and I'm going to show you which photo frame I use like this. Now I have already removed the glass and the glass replacement has to be very very thin. So the reason I like a photo frame is that it already has a back that has a hanger on it or it has an easel. So it's rather nice. If wood is not available, there are other ways that you can make these little paintings. You can use canvas paper like this. Canvas paper can be glued to mat board like this. Take mat board and just glue the paper to it. All right, the other way is that this is a heavy duty watercolor paper, but it's also used for acrylics and oil. So this works. The main thing you wanna do is to paint both sides of it prior to using it uh, for your painting. That way it will not warp. The final thing that I like to use is this board. It's used for drawers and the inside of furniture. If you'll note, it's very, very thin. It's the same thinness as a glass. Now, I have the, the home building company cut it for me. They will cut as little as 10 by 10 or 12 by 12. Their big machine cannot go smaller than that. Now, what it made into was roughly 70 pieces of wood. And this shows you some of the finished paintings, but it also, and these would be part of it too, but this shows how I painted the front and the back of the wood so that it's completely ready for a picture and yet it won't warp. I find that the most popular pictures are regional scenes as well as florals and most popular are pictures that have to do with your coastline. So now you'll take a look at some of those pictures that I've found are most successful. You know it's a nice hobby to do among other things. You don't have to do it for the money, you can do it for the passion and also to get better. It's great art therapy. So I make about 300 of these a year, and it gives me a chance to go to an art room where there are many other people, and it's a fun time to socialize, but it also keeps my thoughts away from all the troubles of the day and onto just making the next painting. As a finished product, what I do is put it in a little plastic bag, in a pretty frame, and then I take a 22 inch bow and attach it from one corner to the other. So it makes a lovely gift. Now isn't that fun for anybody for whatever happy occasion you have? All right, let's paint. All right, I have a rather full palette. This is yellow ochre, white, warm white, sap green, viridian green, Cerulean Blue, Ultramarine Blue, Prussian Blue, uh, Red Orange, Burnt Sienna, and Burnt Umber.
taking cerulean blue. If I put that at the top, I do not need to get it again. Just work it down with the white as the base. I'm going to drag a little bit of Viridian into this one to make an aqua sky. Using a roll of paper towels to wipe off. Ultramarine Cerulean Blue. The color of the ocean or the sea usually reflects the color of the sky. I'm going to add a couple of, of uh, flower colors. I think I will add flowers. When you add flowers, you group them together. You do not make polka dots. When you put color on one side of the canvas, you also want a little dab of it on the other side, okay? All right, this we're going to add a little bit of blue and a little bit of orange, a little purple, to make a little purple. just for a little background mountain. There we go. 
and a little um, sailboat. Sailboat should come into the picture, not aiming away from the picture. With a sharp brush. And there they are. Now underneath the flowers, it needs to be a little bit darker as a shadow to the flowers. All right, that takes care of number one. All right, now we go to number two. 